I'm Laura, and today we're going to be talking about Google Analytics Assisted Conversions. We're going to talk about why they're important, how they work, and where you can find them in Google Analytics. So why should we be looking at assisted conversions? Assisted conversions help us understand user behavior over time. It helps us understand what channels are really driving conversions. So think of it this way. Boy meets girl, they go on one date, they fall in love. Wait a minute, that's not usually how it works. It usually takes a little bit longer than that. According to one study, it takes an average of 14 days before a couple says the words, I love you. Now I know most of you aren't watching this so you can understand analytics for your dating, but this idea can be applied to any digital equivalent of I love you or a conversion. Okay, let's say you do own a dating site. Let's call it onlinedate.com. And you're trying to get more people to register for your site. So one user might Google search online dating and come and find your site and explore, but then they leave and they don't sign up. The next time, they remember you because they're thinking about signing up for online dating. And this time when they're on their site, they sign up for your email, but they still don't register. The next time they get an email to their inbox reminding them of your website, they decide to go back on and finally, that's when they become a user. Now, you can find assisted conversions under the conversions tab in Google Analytics. Now this means you are gonna have to have some goals set up. Remember, a goal can be anything good that a user does on your website, like signing up for your email or downloading a resource. So how does Google know that a user is going through all of these channels before they finally convert? Well, the answer is cookies, and not the delicious tasty kind. Google uses cookies to track interactions that a user takes over a period of time. So in Google Analytics, the default window is set back for 30 days, but it can go all the way back to 90 days. So what if it takes a user longer than 90 days to convert or they clear their cookies? Well, unfortunately in that case, you're out of luck. Now, let's dive into the assisted conversions chart in Google Analytics. But before we do this, we need to understand the difference between assisted and last click or direct. Assisted means the channel is in the conversion pathway, but not the final interaction that a user has before they convert. Last click or direct means it is the very last channel that a user uses before they convert. Now looking at the chart, we see it, the final column here is a ratio the number of assisted conversions over the number of last click or direct conversions. Knowing what this ratio means is really important and is gonna let us know if a channel is more likely to assist or be a direct converter. If a channel's assisted last click ratio is less than one, then it's more likely to be the final interaction that a user has before she converts. If the ratio is exactly one, that means the channel is equally likely to assist and be last click. If the ratio is over one, that means the channel is more likely to be an assist in the conversion pathway. Now let's dive into an example, social media. People are always asking, is social media worth it? It doesn't seem to convert. Well, looking at this chart, we can see that social media is actually extremely important, although it doesn't bring in tons of conversions, it's the highest assisting channel out of all of the channels here in this chart. Okay, now here's a pro tip. Now that you know one channel might be more likely to assist the convert, here's what you can do. Go in Google Analytics and under the top conversion pathways, see if there is an assisting channel that often works in conjunction with a converting channel. If you see a pattern, think about some campaign content or strategy that you can use to marry these two channels together. There you have it, an intro into Google Analytics Assisted Conversions. If you want to learn more, you can always read our article called Falling in Love at Third Sight, A Tale of Assisted Conversions on our blog. And don't forget to watch more videos and subscribe. Always subscribe.